this is the real AIX. Extra dark for those who don't think I'm black enough today. I think uh, successful black women are mainly single for several reasons. One, some of them wait to find a successful black man and never find one. Two, they want to maintain a level of success before they weigh themselves down with the you know, stress and strains of family life. And three, if they find another black man while they're successful, they may want to just be with him other than putting themselves in a situation to where he may flip, lose everything he got and take what she's got because of what she's seen in life. Okay? Um, I'm not speaking for all people because I can only speak from my perspective. I truly think successful black women don't want to get hitched to somebody who is not even making an attempt to be successful or someone who they've been with who's just been trying for over five years. A successful black woman, to me, has her mind set on her goals. She's achieved them, and she's waiting for enhancement. Until she gets that enhancement, she will be single. Until some man steps in and say, well, we got this. Other than, woo, girl, I'm glad you took care of that one. You know, and that's not necessarily saying that the successful black woman will find a a, a black man or uh, you know, any white man or any colored man. It's just she may just want to find out herself how far this ride is gonna go. She may be waiting for that person to enhance her life, or she just says. I can't find my own that'll do right by me. I will wait. But sometimes successful black women don't meet a good man that they want until they're 45, 50. They're beyond the years of going out having babies and fun. So to me, a successful black woman is a woman, a successful unmarried black woman is a calculated woman waiting for the opportunity to find an enhancement to her life not a burden not a toy and success comes first and if it happens it happens I waited for a while to respond on this video because you know I'm going through several dramas of my own with a semi successful black woman she's doing very great and she's kept the boat afloat a long time and me, well, you know, we was on jet skis when we first hit the water. You feel me? And we was both floating. And then, you know, it's like, hey, my ski went out. And we got a little boat. And, and shit, and she been keeping the boat afloat. And some black man cannot handle the success of a successful black woman and tune out. And the black woman says, well, you know, you know, if I can't find a black man, and fuck it. Some women actually want to wait for their own. Um, and some women just say, you know what? It's the time. This man ain't doing nothing. This man ain't doing nothing. Um, I've got all my own. Let me make sure. <sighs> that food cooking. Mm. I hear it calling. I'm a great cook. But hey. Sometimes when you're with a successful black woman, she don't want to cook. She don't want a housekeeper. She wants an equal. And I'm not saying that because I'm having problems because I am an equal in more ways than one. I might not be bringing in the big dough, but I make sure the dough gets cooked, the pie gets baked, the cakes gets made. Shit happens. So, like I said, in my opinion, a successful unmarried black woman as a woman waiting for an enhancement to her life someone she can live with as an equal because of the inferior men that she's met in her life or someone that's going to be there just for fun in the end someone that can be married to as a companion somebody to grow up with there's only three options for a successful black woman and I think I laid them out 
the best I could in my opinion because if I was a successful black woman the least I would want the least the least I would want is a successful man period near the end I want to be on going that cruise and sit back and and enjoy the fruits of my labors period just like anybody else would do may I know them thank you for your time let me comment on this video I've been trying to stay away from the race comments because um if all you stuck on is talking about how bad a black woman is or how bad a black man is or how bad white people are or how bad this is then all you get stuck on is the topic that people know you for I talk on every topic I can possibly get my hands on and what I live for the most in life is to be part of something successful and I'm glad that I am with a successful black woman I know I said semi successful before but if you keep a boat floating three years when the captain of the boat is like oh shit like Macaulay Culkin scared to death what keeps the family together you're only as strong as your weakest part and if there's a successful black woman out there don't be a weak man no matter what color you are be an enhancement to whatever woman you are with regardless of what color she is because to be a man without flavor without substance is just to be a dick swinging in the wind You see me? You see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm talking about? To be with any successful woman and to have a relationship that is going to be successful, you must be a man that can hold your own. Regardless of what you make your own out to be, regardless of what standards you set, you must hold it and maintain that or lose the love of that woman regardless of how successful or not successful she may be you can have a broke down bitch or you can be a broke down bitch or you can build yourself and know that can't no woman ever no woman <laughs> you can break yourself down and fix it so you know that no man can ever call your woman a bitch so no matter how successful a woman may be, and no matter how the language may change, to run across a real successful black woman is not to say, look at that bitch there. She really got it. Oprah, that bitch is moving. See, no woman should be looked at as a bitch, for one. Two, a successful woman is just like a successful man. The best accessory is someone who accessorizes your well-being and not the status of your wallet or your pocket, but the status of your physical state of mind. So everybody out there who heard me blast off in this video going over there and over there, understand where I went in the end. Can you? I bet you a successful black woman could understand what I just said. For all those who don't understand what I said, get up on your game. Because it's real lifetime. You've been too.